Hey guys, uh, Collector's Domain here. Uh, it looks like I got a package in the mail today. It's uh, I know what's in it actually, and it's uh, it's a really special um, review that I can't wait to do. Uh, I thought I'd do an unboxing video first because uh, in case anybody wanted to actually order from TF Source, that's where I got this this package. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys what it was like, how they packaged it in case you ever wanted to order from them so go ahead and open it up I already cut open the tape but uh, it looks like they did a really good job packaging it uh, looking at it from the top it looks like they covered it nicely it fits the box really nice the styrofoam so it's nice and secure this is just the top though, the top flap the kind of styrofoam really light styrofoam but this is the inside uh, it's got a lot of bubble wrap on it. Here's the packing slip, the bill lady, whatever that is. Um, a lot of styrofoam. Yeah, because I ordered mint, so I had to pay a few extra bucks for it. But because uh, I've ordered from them before, from not mint, like C9 or something like that, and it was it was shipped decently, similarly shipped. But this time I went for the mint because it's brand new. And it looks like they did a really good job packing it. So let's take a look inside. I know you guys are going to be excited when you see it. Before we get on to what that is, I bet you can guess what that is. Uh, this is the inside of the box. It looks like they just cut a couple pieces of styrofoam and made it fit the box nothing standard it just looks like it was a uh, freehand like it's not an actual box it's just four pieces of styrofoam cut up and put in there nothing special about the box I'll just put that away they did a pretty decent job let's cut this one open yeah Here's another thing they added. Uh, they actually put it in um, mailing boxes. Another sleeve to protect it even more. Yeah, here it is. Ready? This is this is gonna be part uh, two of my review. Da, 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 da. Look at that. X Transbots XPO1 Destroyer. Oh my god, this thing's beautiful. I haven't opened it yet at all. It's my first time looking at it, putting my hands on it. Here we go. Just a quick look at this because it's going to have its own separate review. Um, it's in a um, plastic slip. I'm not going to touch that yet. It's going to sit over there. This is the box that TF Source also covers with it. Standard box, but it's a sleeve and it, it helps the um from scratching anyway this is going to be the first part and this is why main reason why i got i paid the extra few bucks to get mint they did a really good job at packing it it's because this is you can guess it oh, beautiful encore 20s devastator look at that g1 devastator this is like such a happy fucking moment for me Look at that. Oh, look, it says, it says TF Source on there. It's another, um, I forget what kind of sleeve this is called. It's plastic polyurethane something. But there you go, there's the back of the box. Alright, this is just the unboxing. The literal unboxing. The next unboxing will be from this. I'll go over the package, what you get inside. I don't really have a, a G1 to go over, but I do have a knockoff that I'll be comparing it to. And this time I won't be doing music, because that was hella annoying in my other reviews. This time it'll just be plain old boring me talking about it. Alright? Okay, so here we are with the second part of the video review of Encore 20 Devastator. Right now we'll be... Whoa. Focus. Focus. 
focus. Okay, so here, let's try this again. Here we have the second part of my video review for Encore 20 Devastator. Right now we'll be taking a look at the box and its contents. So here we have the box. I took out the insert. Usually you can see all the six Constructicons. You can see this is the, I think this is the Japanese version. I think there's a Chinese version. I'm not sure. I think. But this is the Japanese version. It doesn't come with the badge that the Hong Kong version comes with, whatever that means. This is on the inside of the box. Uh, this is the insert. And these are all the pieces. It's not styrofoam like the original G1. But it does the same job as like, far as I can tell from the other photos. Mix Master, Long Haul, Hook, Bone Crusher, Scavenger, uh, Scoop, Scavenger, Scrapper, something. You get the pieces here. Uh, here are all the pieces. Like again, I, as I said before, I don't have the original G1 one, but I have a knockoff. And looking at these guys, it's... Yeah, these are definitely a different color. These are much deeper. They're saying on the boards that this version was actually a lot more like a knockoff than a, a official re reissue or something. But I'll get into that later when I take them out and do the comparison. Right now, I said I'm doing packaging and everything, so... Here's the box on the bottom side. Picture of all six Decepticons. It's a nice big Decepticon logo. I always thought that these uh, Takara releases and Encore versions always had stickers. Not just that, but like a, like a little holographic sticker or something. Not sure. But Encore, Transformers, Encore. Yeah. So this is the front. This is the side panel. You got Devastator, Robot Mode, combined. Then you have the six Constructicons. Takara Tomy. Here's the top flap. I think it's exactly the same. Yeah, it's exactly the same as the bottom. Here's the left flap. Exact. Wow, that's kind of weird. It's exactly the same as the right flap. And then the back flap. You got that nice G1 battle scene. The big, big Decepticon uh, picture of Devastator with his side head gun. That's nice. Fighting the Dinobots, Decepticons, Blitzwing, Blitzwing, uh, Astro Train. No, no, Blitzwing. Blitzwing. Just an overall really nice picture. You don't have the tech specs like you did in the old one. You got this warning symbol and everything. It's inside the box. And then you have how Devastator is formed on the right side of the back flap. Yep, and that's about it. Okay, so now I'll crack this guy open and get out my G1. And we'll get into the third part of this review.